Men accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault agrees to share her story next week. Why the negotiations over her testimony continue and who the vice president is calling a disgrace. Family's desperate search for a missing girl from Lanham. I'm Amy Cho with the latest on the investigation coming up. And more than a week after Florence pounded North Carolina, floodwaters continue to rise tonight. The urgent warning from the governor. News 4 at 6 begins with breaking news. Breaking right now, the woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault says she will tell her side of the story. Good evening, I'm Erica Gonzalez. Christine Blasey Ford says she could share her story next Thursday at the earliest. Her lawyers are working out the exact terms of her appearance before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Dr. Ford claims Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her at a house party in Montgomery County in the early 1980s. Kavanaugh denies the allegation. Today, Vice President Mike Pence offered support for the judge and took shots at Democrats. The conservative who will interpret the Constitution as written and his record and career deserves the respect of every member of the United States Senate. But honestly, the way some Democrats have conducted themselves during this process is a disgrace and a disservice to the Senate and the American people. Dr. Ford's lawyer says she has been harassed, received death threats, and been forced to leave her California home. The news that Christine Blasey Ford will testify came hours after we learned of a second development. NBC News broke the story that a press advisor helping the GOP Senate Judiciary Committee resigned amid allegations of his own sexual misconduct. Garrett Ventry had been serving as a communications aide to the committee. He was brought on to help with the Dr. Ford investigation. Ventry denied any past allegation of misconduct. The Maryland man who went missing on his honeymoon in Hawaii is dead. Stephen Kramer's body was found Friday on a hillside in Hawaii, about a half mile away from where he and his new wife were staying. An autopsy will determine how he died. Stephen and Jeffany Kramer married in Falls Church two weeks ago, went for a solo hike in the mountains on Monday and ever return to their resort. All right, let's switch gears now. Let's turn to the weather. It's been a cloudy Saturday for most of us, but at least it was mainly dry. And it's the last day of summer. And as Storm Team 4 meteorologist Amelia Draper shows us, the start of fall is going to be rainy and cool. Boy, that looks like a really dark picture behind me, Mill. <laughs> I am dragging plenty of clouds across the area right now, Erica, but you can see here with Storm Team 4 radar, most of us are dry, tracking some showers down in parts of Orange County, Spotsylvania, and Stafford. We're going to continue to see showers move into the area overnight tonight. Take a look at all of this moisture. This is going to be pushing in from the west. So what that means, well, you're waking up to showers out there tomorrow morning on your Sunday, the first full day of fall. Currently, we're at 73 degrees. No 70s in the forecast at all tomorrow. We're only going to be in the 60s throughout the day and not upper 60s, low to mid 60s. It's pretty much wetter weather out there tomorrow. 8 a.m. still tracking showers, otherwise cloudy skies. And by 10 a.m., still want to grab the umbrella with a temperature around 63. More rain for the afternoon and evening hours. I'm going to be timing that out with future weather. And Erica, more rain for the work week. I'll let you know when you need to grab that umbrella coming up in my full forecast in about 10 minutes. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. We will see you then. A new sense of urgency eight days after Hurricane Florence initially made landfall tonight. North Carolina's governor says more flood warnings and evacuation orders could be issued. Today we saw people offloading bales of hay uh, by boat to protect a home from floodwaters. This is in the Wilmington area. Many homes are still underwater. Governor Roy Cooper says nine of the state's river gauges are at major flood stage. An outpouring of support for the family of a missing honor student from Maryland. Janae DeVille vanished two weeks ago from Duval High School in Lanham. She was last seen in New York. News Force Amy Cho has the emotional plea from her family. It's been almost three weeks since anyone has seen Janae DeVille. Her family and friends have made posters saying, we love you, Janae. They tell me they just want her home. I love my sister. Um, I can remember the minute she was born. Janae's brother Justin says ever since his little sister went missing, it's all he can think about. I just wanted to do the right thing at all times for her and make sure that she always had a role model to look up to. And um, I always just tried to be that focal point for her. 
Today, family and friends holding a cookout to spread the word about the search. Janae was last seen leaving Duval High School on September 4th and going to Queens, New York with her boyfriend. Now, her boyfriend is home, but he tells police she wanted to stay behind and he doesn't know where she is. All I can do is hope and pray. Janae's dad, Joseph, says his daughter is 15 and an honor student at Duval High and that it's unlike her to leave without telling them. I'm very worried at this point because I don't know where she is or who she may be with. Prince George's County Police, now in New York, helping look for her. They've been searching shelters and hanging up missing posters. And her family says if she's listening, Doesn't they have a message matter. for her. It's about just getting you home and getting you the love or then going from there and getting you the things that you need. And I know my sister wouldn't want to put us through it. And I love you. And I just, I hope you come home. And Janae's dad tells me she loves photography and dreams of one day becoming a photographer. If you have any information, you're asked to please call police. In Lanham, Amy Cho, News 4. D.C. police have identified the man killed in an accident while riding an electric scooter in DuPont Circle. His name is Carlos Sanchez Martin. He was only 20 years old, lived in Silver Spring. Police say he was riding a scooter in DuPont Circle when he became pinned beneath an SUV Friday morning. He died at the hospital. The driver remained at the scene until help arrived. D.C. police have identified the man shot and killed last night in Southeast. Officers heard gunshots in the area of 51st Street and F Streets. They found Terrell Butler with multiple gunshot wounds. He died at the hospital. A second shooting victim is expected to survive. No word on any arrests in this case. The future of the man who oversees the special counsel's Russia investigation is up in the air tonight. The New York Times says Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein suggested secretly recording President Trump and discussed possibly trying to remove him from office. The big question now is what is the president going to do about it? Friday night, Mr. Trump said there was a, quote, lingering stench, end quote, at the Justice Department. He said he was going to get rid of it, but he didn't say any names. Rosenstein has denied the story. Sources tell NBC News there is a disagreement of whether Rosenstein's comments about wearing a wire were sarcastic or not. A group converges on the Vatican Embassy. They are demanding the end of Cardinal World's leadership of the Archdiocese of Washington. The one thing all of them had in common. And an emotional day at a local airport to a long fight over the Trump administration's family separation policy. After a year, a woman can now hold her son in her arms once again. Monday, imagine buying a home and months later seeing it listed as ready to rent. What do you think about that? Pretty crazy. Definitely not renting my apartment. The News 4i team coming through rental listings that seem legit. I googled him, real person, real realtor. I thought this sounds good. But could leave you broke. Your money is gone. Why are these scammers so hard to stop? When you flag it, it just seems to go right back up. The News 4i team working to protect you and your money. Monday on News 4 at 5. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. I do understand, go for landing, 3,000 feet. You're looking great. Discover a new world right here on this one. Luray Caverns, what will you discover? Richmond treats Northern Virginia like a giant ATM forcing us to subsidize the rest of the state. Jennifer Wexton's part of the problem. Wexton supported the largest tax increase in state history, nearly $6 billion. Northern Virginia singled out for higher sales taxes, outrageous tolls on 66. More than anywhere else, we got taxed, tolled, Wexton. A sellout politician we cannot trust in Congress. That's Jennifer Wexton. NRCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Real people steal people. They want real power, real options, and real value. This fall, get a real solution, get a steal. A bet? Introducing the sports book only at Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races. Place your bets now. Oh, 
Introducing the sports book only at Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races. Place your bets now. What does Luray Cavern sound like? It depends on who's behind the keyboard. The great stalactite organ, only at Luray Caverns. What will you discover? A group of Catholic mothers want reform within the Catholic Church, and they say that starts with removing Cardinal Donald Worrell. God's house, clean God's house, clean God's house. They were chanting clean God's house while wearing cleaning clothes and holding brooms. The, groom, the group consisted of mothers whose children attend Catholic schools in D.C., and they demonstrated outside the Vatican Embassy in Northwest this morning. Their protests center around the ongoing church sex abuse scandal, particularly with Cardinal Worrell. They say he covered up abuse by priests during his time as bishop in Pittsburgh. Worrell denies those allegations. We want clean leadership. We want good people. You are supposed to be the moral authority, then act like it. Worrell is expected to travel to Rome soon to ask Pope Francis to accept his resignation as Archbishop of Washington. An emotional reunion at Dallas International Airport today. A mother from Honduras seeking asylum saw her son for the first time in a year. <laughs> Hugs and tears all around as Karen Gutierrez welcomed her eldest son. Gutierrez came legally to the United States to petition for asylum. Her 11-year-old son was detained at the southern border as he tried to join her. She sued, and on Thursday, a federal judge in D.C. said they could be reunited. The Trump administration has increased the legal hurdles for immigrant families whose relatives cross the border on their own. Emergency crews race to a Maryland home after a deck caves. Multiple people taken to the hospital. D.C. gets yet another entertainment venue. The big deal about this one is where it's located. I'll have details coming up on News 4. Roadside attractions, and then there's our world famous on road attraction, the 2019 GLC. Lease the GLC 300 for just $469 a month at your local Mercedes Benz dealer. Mercedes Benz, the best or nothing. Now, you know, Checkers and Rallies is the home of the two for menu. Choose two items for six bucks, two items for five bucks, two for four bucks. Plus, now you can get two items for three bucks. Pick two or mix and match. Checkers and Rallies. Fast foodies know the deal. So, what's the story? Am I getting new tires? Oh, you're not getting just any tires. You're getting Cooper tires. Oh, oh Cooper tires? You bet. Quality tires from an American-owned company since 1914. At NTB and Merchants, buy three tires, get one free. Featuring the latest car and truck tires from Cooper, like the Discoverer RTX or the GLS Touring at NTB and Merchants. 1914? Did they even have cars back then? You don't get out much, do you? I'm Jennifer Wexton, and as a prosecutor, I put criminals in prison during the day and change diapers at night. Later, when I had a law practice, I volunteered to help moms collect child support. Then, as state senator, I worked across party lines to target sexual offenders and take guns away from domestic abusers. In Congress, I'll stand up to President Trump. I approve this message because, like every working mom, what's ahead is as important as what's in the rearview mirror. The Lexus RX, featuring pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, auto braking, lane departure alert, and other advanced safety features, standard. Experience amazing at your local Lexus dealer.